Hi, and welcome to another look at what's new in Azure DevOps Services. I am Sasha Rosenbaum. I'm a senior program manager on the Azure DevOps team, and co-hosting with me today is Sean. Sean, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I am a principal engineering manager on the Azure DevOps team, and I've been with Microsoft for about 13 years. All right, Sean, it's super nice to have you. So today's video is about Sprint, what's new in Sprint 158. Um, so we're gonna show you a few features that we released. Um, so the first thing that we wanna show you today is coming from the Azure Repos team. Um, and it is about previewing the markdown changes. So we all have readmes and other markdown files in our repos, um, but sometimes markdown changes get really tricky to write. So now you can review your changes as part of your pull request. So let's just take a look at what it looks like real quick. So I have a pull request right here where I made a change to a readme file. Um, so I can go into my pull request and enter my files. So at first I can see the diff between the existing file and the new one, but I can also click this preview button and make sure that my changes are correct before I approve my pull request. Um, so that's one of the changes in Azure repos, and we also have a few more coming out, so please check out the release notes. The other feature that I wanted to show today is coming from Azure Pipelines. So we all know that sometimes our pipelines are not 100% successful, and it's sometimes useful to um, retry multiple stages. So the new feature that's coming out of the Azure YAML uh, pipelines is the ability to rerun specific stages. So let's just take a look at that. Um, so I have a pipeline right here, and we can see that there is a broken stage. So if I click into the pipeline run, we can see immediately that it offers me the ability to rerun this stage. So I'm just gonna click yes on here. And then it's going to start on um, the staging step again. I can click into it and also see the logs for the previous attempts of this pipeline. So this allows me to rerun a stage and all the stages that depend on it um, without rerunning the stages that were successful before. And I can save time that way. So, um, I also know that there are a lot of exciting things that are coming out of boards. Yes, there so, are. Sean, would you like to talk about that? Yeah, so we have two things I would like to demo today. The first is the deployment integration on the work item form. Um, it's been a common thing that we really want to know is where is my work item deployed? Because um, you have you know, your dev, your tests, your production, um, and the easiest way to find it is from the work item. Um, so, we have a new feature on the work item. So I want to dem demonstrate the deployment control. So if I have to make a change to a work item, uh, often we want to see, did this end up being deployed? Um, and the best way to do that is with this new deployment control that we have. Um, so I will start this. I will create a small change. And I will link it to that change, to that work item, which will kick off our build. Um, and you'll see that, that work item got linked, which is great. And then you'll see here, I should have a release that's gotten at least to one level. So now you'll see the work item still shows this nice little blurb saying how to configure it. So we'll, I'm gonna now show you how you would configure this new deployment integration. So you go to the deployment, there the release pipeline, you click edit, and under options and integrations, we have this new checkbox, which is to report deployment status to boards. So I will enable it, and I can choose which mapping I would like. So development would be development, uh, staging would be staging, and then these two would map to production. Um, so there we go, save it. So now if I go back to the release that is currently pending, I can approve it. And once that's approved, it should be deployed in a few seconds. And now you can see that staging has been deployed. So now if I go back to the work item and refresh the work item, you will see now the, the box has been replaced with something named staging. 
And I can see that it's been released just now and the actual environment it went into. Um, and so if I go back to the pipeline, I can now approve the next phase, which are the two production phases, because you know, I verified you know, my readme, it went, the change went great. Um, I can approve that one and the next one. And then once those go, we can go back to the work item and it should now have the production release. So I can see now I went to production with these two deployments. Um, wow, this is super cool. I'm so excited because a lot of people want to have that visibility from their boards into their releases and to be able to um, track the changes all the way to the production. Yeah, it's for us, it's great. I mean, we've turned it on as soon as we could for our account. Yeah, this is super nice. Um, is there anything else you wanted to show us yes, today? Yes, we have one more feature that I would like to demo. Uh, this is a change which is bringing us closer to parity with kind of our on-premise functionality, which is the allowing people to hide a field based on if you're a member of a group or not. And so I will demonstrate that. Okay. So I have a process. Uh, I have a work item type that's custom. And you see there's this field here, acceptance criteria. So I can go over to rules. I can add a new rule. I will call it not for admins. And I can say when, let's scroll down, current user is a member of a group. And I will do project collection administrators. And I can say, hide the field. And the field, only field I have that's hideable right now is acceptance criteria. So I can't save. And so now me being a project administrator, if I go back to my work item and I reload the page, acceptance criteria is now no longer there. Wow, so you can have fields that are only visible to certain members of the certain teams. Yes. Okay. I can see how this could be useful. Yeah, no, it'd be great. Okay. So this is all we have time for today. Um, so this is Sprint 158, which has been rolled out to all the organizations. So you can start um, using the changes today. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get the next updates. And then we'll see you all next sprints.